Welcome back everybody, uh, this is video number 9, it's the last video uh, concerning that garage and in our garage, this uh, we are going today, today we are going to uh, do the last slider which is the torque, alright, we're going to change the torque of the vehicle, so if we look at our car down here, we've got this value called full, full torque over all wheels, okay, this is on the car controller script and this vehicle is from the standard assets, okay, so we're going to change this value here, so let's have a little look and see if it changes, yeah, okay, so we've got a minimum torque of 2000 and a maximum torque of uh, 10,000, alright, okay, so let's have a look at our slider that goes with this, okay, uh, window engine, I've got a slider, so you need to make a slider, and I've set the value at 2000 and 10,000 min max, and you can put any values that you want in there, okay, good, so how do we do that, well, this, as I said before in the previous video, where we were dealing with top speed, we are we need to access the value in the car controller. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, quite simply, we go to here, which is the uh, car controller script. Okay, and here we what we want to do is uh, as we did before with the uh, top speed. This is the top speed we did in the previous video. We want to do the same thing here with full torque over all wheels. Okay, so this previously the default is it's a private float. And I've made it public okay that's the first thing you need to do so we can access that value okay okay next thing we need to do is just to remind you is we need to at the top have unity standard uh, standard assets vehicles car so we need to do that and what I've done is I've created a float for the torque value and a slider as well same as I did for top speed okay and of course at the top I've got the car controller um, I've called it car. So car equals get component car controller. So in a week we're going to get the con car controller and then by doing that we can change the value in there. Alright, because we made it public. Great. So basically I've said here come down to talk. Okay. So here I've said basically right get the value current value of uh, torque from the uh, player prefs and if it's less than 2000 make it 2000 that's for a fresh install right because otherwise it would be set to zero all right and here we've set that value okay to what to what it is what we want it to be all right so it's like a one time thing and if it's more than 10000 which is our max then uh, yeah set it to that value all right okay so that's all that does and I've put here, I've basically said that the, the car M full torque over four wheels, this value over here, this value is whatever the value is that we've pulled from player prefs or from here, okay? Good. Then the next thing I've done is I've said, okay, that make the slider that value, so it remembers where your slider value is, okay? And then I've put up a listener, okay? A listener here, I've put on the torque slider, and it basically says if there's a value change in the torque slider, i.e. someone's changed the slider, okay, the player's changed the slider value, then do something, all right? And what does it do? Well, it, it runs this little function, which is the check the value of the uh, torque, okay? So here's our little function. Basically says, okay, torque is, the new value of torque is whatever the slider value is, all right? And we've set this value to our new value Okay, so we've changed this value, this value here, to, okay, let's leave that, I've changed this value to our slider value, okay, that's all we've done there, and we've saved our new value, okay, so I'm going to let you take a screenshot of this, there you go, and of this, and you're good to go, alright, great. Okay, and last of all, don't forget to change these values here and here. So top speed and torque. Good. Okay, so let's see if this all works. So we're looking at this top. We're looking at this torque. Okay, so we hit play pick our engine and let's see if things are moving yeah so we got 2000 torque and we got 10 and we got 10,000 torque so it's working correctly all right so it's really going for it now okay 
Good. Well, thanks very much. And as I said, this is the last uh, video in this series about uh, how to set your vehicle up in the garage and remember those settings. And yeah, I tell you what, this is actually really good for testing your car. And as you can see, if you're doing some kind of four-wheel thing, you can mess around with the torque and the, and, the, and, and the suspension and stuff and get your car really working properly, all right? So thank you very much for watching these videos. And please subscribe. And I hope you learned something. And yeah, see you in our next videos, all right? So look out for our new playlists. And thank you once again. Goodbye.